Titans first year head coach Adam Butler has his men's team climbing the rankings early in the 2022 season. Today they will battle a tough Harcum College team that went 11 and one a year ago. Live from Orlando Health Stadium on Eastern Florida's Melbourne campus, it's the Titans and the Harcum College Bears next. It is a pleasant Space Coast Saturday in Melbourne for some NJCAA men's soccer action. 15th ranked Titans taking on the Harpcom College Bears. Good afternoon and welcome everybody to Titan Soccer on WEFS. My name is Jeff Radcliffe, joined by the head coach of the MPSL's Central Florida Panthers, Tom Traxler. Good to have you along. And look, we've got the 15th ranked team in all the land of Eastern Florida. Harkham, a team just a year removed from playing in the national tournament. Yeah, two fantastic teams. This sets up to be a really exciting match, Jeff. Harkham, of course, as you just mentioned, made the national tournament, lost in the semis to Salt Lake, Eastern Florida. Really, really strong team under their brand new head coach, Adam Butler. So they've got that energy going for them today. And they've got some exciting players. This one is shaping up to be a dandy, Jeff. Team, teams being uh, introduced here. It's a sunny day. Not as hot as it could be, but you've got a team in Harcum that played yesterday against Daytona State, a team they lost to 1-0 on a late penalty. But that's something you have to be concerned a little bit about if you're David Hughes. If you're playing two games in heat in Central uh, in Central Florida at this time of year. Obviously, recovery. You're, you're coming off of a game yesterday in the heat, but you also have a reduced squad. You're traveling. You're traveling in from, from Pennsylvania, from the Philadelphia area. So you don't have a very large squad here. So it's all about recovery. It can they get can they get good rest can they get themselves back and ready to go for today yes that is definitely going to be a concern for David Hughes I'm quite sure he's going to have to balance those minutes use his bench wisely Harkham College out of Bryn Mawr PA it's about 10 miles west of Philly uh, we were talking with uh, head coach David Hughes prior and he said look it's a fertile recruiting area but every player on that team international well, there's a lot of competition for the local players. There's so many schools in and around that area. And Harkham, really good school. Um, and it, it, it's hard for them to, to draw some of these local players. So what do they do? They go out into the international market, and they pull in fantastic players who want the chance to come to the U.S. and get an education and play soccer. Well, David Hughes, their head coach uh, from Glasgow, Scotland. Adam Butler, the new head coach for Eastern Florida from London. Seven players from England on Eastern Florida's side. Another five from Harkham. And in a few moments, we'll have a moment of silence to recognize the life and legacy of Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away just two days ago. And, you know, this is... Not necessarily a heavy-hearted day, but it's certainly in the back of the minds of a lot of those players who are from the UK. Well, I think they've grown up with Queen Elizabeth. I mean, I, I have a hard time imagining not having Queen Elizabeth there. You're so used to saying it's just a this noble figure who's who's always been there. Um, so it'll be a, a loss for their for their nation, a loss for the world, really. I think the world has felt um, the loss of Queen Elizabeth.
Let's look at the players to watch in this one. First for Harkum, he is the Trinidadian Tower of Power. Six foot five, Luke Charles manning things in the back. He's going to have to be paid attention to if you're Eastern Florida because he is strong in the air. That you know, and he's going to be forward on corners and set pieces. But at the back, he's influential because, again, he's going to dominate balls in the air, anything that's swung in that box. But he, he's good with his feet, so he's good at starting counters. So, yes, definite player to watch if you're Eastern Florida. And, and if you're watching this game, pay attention to him. The Titans' uh, sophomore goalkeeper is Jorge Ortega from Tijuana, Mexico. He's a transfer from Coastal Bend College, came over to the program with head coach Adam Butler. You know, you, you love to have players that you know and that you're familiar with them. When you come to a new place, when you can bring especially a goalkeeper because it's such obviously a vital position, um, I'm sure that that makes Adam Butler very comfortable and the players that are in front of him. When you know you've got a good goalkeeper behind you, you don't have to worry about silly little things getting by or getting in. It, it, you just you play so much better. 1.06 goals against average. Here are the starting lineups. Harkum in the back. You've got Prebinson at keeper. Romero, Papa, and Shea will join Charles in the back line. The midfielders are Silva, Sanchez, and Lando. Uh, also, Grego Vargas, the Hungarian right winger who's got a, pay, a lot of pace. Ned Lewis is the center forward. And you also got Lorenzo Ferrari up there who I take has a lot of speed and can shift into multiple gears. For Eastern Florida, uh, in front of Ortega, you've got Thomas, Wood, Wyatt, and Collins. Uh, Tiago Perez, Sam Bailey, and Mo Homan, the, the man from Munich, are going to be in the midfield. Jack Nelson, Thomas Duggan, and Rolando Onu, a turning starter from a year ago, will be the speedy front three. Well, if nothing else, if you're a Ferrari, you get an awful lot of looks, right, Chuck? Yeah, from ev anyone and everybody. <laughs> it is game on in Melbourne, uh, Melbourne, Harkham, and Eastern Florida. The Titans in the home whites attacking right to left as we call the action for you here on WEFS. Again, I'm Jeff Radcliffe, joined by Tom Traxler. So happy to be here and see soccer at any time, but this is gonna be a really special team this year. And we got our first look at Luke Charles making his distribution. It's hard to miss, big number 16 in the back for Harkham. Again, a program that made to the national semis last year and David Hughes' third year as head coach. Lost to Salt Lake, team that Eastern Florida played, lost earlier this season, 3-2. Yeah, so when you when you make that tournament, you've got that success, you always want a taste for it. So they're gonna be eager and anxious to get back to that level, and, and these games can really help prepare you. They, they, they come down to Florida to play two games, this one today against Eastern Florida, they played yesterday against Daytona State, so they're getting two really good games on their trip. The referee Carlos Morales Lastra will preside over this one, will be assisted by Wesley Costa and James Mico. Matinee soccer for you here on Saturday. Held up by Eastern Florida, will be sent to that back two, Hayden Wood, George Wyatt. On the left is Ryan Thomas, awaiting a switch. It's not gonna come, at least at the moment. We'll go to the right side, Joseph Collins. And we'll try to exploit the pace there, getting it forward to Duggan on that right side, playing it into the area. Crosses away, first save made by Prevenson. And a quick pace here to start. Well, that's a good start. That's a really quality chance that was created by Eastern Florida there. Silva running on this near side. The action comes from the left. Vargas in front. Shot is away, so it was blocked. And the Titans will try to come out of there with it. Boy, some end-to-end -end stuff in the heat here. Yeah, right now, two teams getting up and down. Two quality chances created by each team. Rolo. Onu into the area to the line and it runs a little far for the Kent England native. Four goals last year as a backup. Did start some games as well when Jeff Carr was the head coach. If these two teams can keep up this pace, man, what a game, but they'd be superhuman if they kept up this pace and this kind of heat. But you've had two, two counter opportunities. Great opportunities created by each team. We, we possibly could have seen two goals so, so quickly. Well, as the neutral, going to certainly enjoy any chances at scoring. Just underway here in Melbourne. First of two men's soccer matches we'll see this year on WEFS. Looking forward to that game against Daytona State here in a couple of weeks. That one will be for the conference championship. 
no matter what you look at, it's a two-team conference. Harkham, same thing. They get a two-team conference with Essex, again, just outside of Philadelphia. It's crazy, but it puts an onus on those games. What a oh, hit. how about that shot? Right over the bar. First shot for Silva. Yet to record a goal so far this year. Does have an assist out of Vina Del Mar, Chile. So far, you, you can see where Harkham's kind of picking up where they left off, playing a tough game yesterday against Daytona State, losing in, in the in the latter few minutes, 1-0 on a, on a penalty. Um, and you always want to get that taste out of your mouth. And so these guys are still – they're still buzzing a bit from that game. And, and just being down in Florida, Eastern Florida, created the first quality chance so far. I'm sure they want to come out and, and really put a lot of pressure on Harkham. Make them play more on the back foot. Make them feel the pressure. Make them feel the heat. Make them feel you know, the intensity of the match. And really kind of make David Hughes dig into his bench and try and make this as, as difficult a prospect as possible for Harkham. Harkham, a school founded back in 1915. Uh, so, you're, so you're saying they've got some history. They do. Out of Region 19. They'll have the throw in front of Adam Butler, the first year head coach coming from Coastal Bend College in Texas. About a half hour north of Corpus Christi. And uh, we talked with Adam Butler ahead. What was what drew him to the what drew him to the job? One of the first <laughs> things he said, yeah, Florida and the weather with a lot of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Easy place to recruit to. Good turn, no foul. Ooh. Calm, composed. Ortega. <laughs> nice feet. Good feet. Good You're used to seeing that from a Mexican goalkeeper. Good feet. Onu. A full head of steam and Coming to meet him was Charles. Yeah, good ball, but read well by Charles. He saw that coming and, and, and shaded over and was able to take care of it. Long legs, cover girl out of ground quick. Bailey started last year. Back in the lineup, missed two games with a red card. So the number nine for Eastern Florida. There it is. And there's the goal. So you talk about him. Actually, that was Nelson. So Jack Nelson, his fourth goal of the season from Folkestone, England, in his second start, makes it happen. Yeah, but you can, you can see they've been they've been picking on Harkham's left side. That's the strong side. Sam Bailey again with just a quality service. Jack Nelson, smart, gets himself into that good area, makes no mistake on the finish from that distance. Really shouldn't. Um, and that's a, that's a second time that, that they've created. They created that chance in the early going, as you saw the first minute, they had a very similar chance. This time, they made it pay. And that's that's the start you want to get. If you're Eastern Florida, great start. If you're Harcum, you're like, all right, hey, we're starting out down. We've got to climb out of a hole already. Yeah, they conceded with eight minutes to play against Daytona. Been a much quicker start here today for Eastern Florida. So Nelson. Again, just a second start because of that double red card or that red card double suspension that happened in the season opener. And his fourth goal of the season. So that's not bad. <laughs> you played in three games and now four goals. That's a heck of a strike rate. That's the return you want out of your striker. If you I mean it's that's that's easier said than done as well. You want to be fair, it's it's two games in and in, in ten minutes. So we've still got a whole another 80 minutes to go here. Uh, losing into touch, it did not. So one nil to the good for Eastern Florida. A little pressure off. You're off in white today. Offside the call. It's Lorenzo Ferrari. <laughs> off to the quick start. Got a little offside. Yeah, rev the engine too early. Here's Thomas. And what does a you know having that early goal do for Eastern Florida here early in this match? Well, 
you know, there's still uh, obviously there's still the balance of the game to go. So, but you know, it's it's a good start. But you still have you still have to keep playing. I've seen goals, early goals like that, create a false sense of security, and sometimes the game eventually turns. It's always said that if you if you give up a goal in the first five minutes, it's it's given and not earned. But in this case, I would say they earned it. Um, it depends on what they do after. If they can keep this pressure on and, and the next few minutes create some more chances and maybe turn it into another goal, this could be a long afternoon for Harkham and a really good afternoon for Eastern Florida. I'll be curious to see. If Eastern Florida is, is, again, through Sam Bailey on, on, on Eastern Florida's right side, they've picked on it. Let's see what adjustments Harkham's Wyatt able to make. Lifting it to Nelson. Again, he's six foot three, the sophomore. Big target. And this will stay with the Bears this time. You're gonna get in those foot racers. This almost got such a long stride. Um, again, he, he, I'm, I'm watching. He reads the game really well. Um, he's, he's able to pick out where the pass is going. He's able to position himself well. Prebinson from Copenhagen, Denmark, started every game this season. Sixteen different countries representative on the on the Harkham roster. Onu kicks it to the center, catch up with his right foot, cut it back where the help is, and we'll just shoot it from distance and it gets through. Just enough Prevenson to have it go out for a corner. It'll be the first corner of the match here for the Titans. Yeah, it's a good strike. Yeah, you don't. Know, you don't said you don't shoot, you don't score, right? And um, keeper spills it a little bit. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Jack Nelson is going to be kicking himself a little bit. You always want to follow these chances in at goal, and he, he starts to. As soon as you shoot, follow up. You never know what's going to happen. You always talk to your players about that. Be following up every opportunity, and I'm sure now that he's seen this, he's probably going to. You can expect to see him do that more often. Corner is away. Goes all the way through, and it did, did get touched. And Bailey we trap to the other side, do it again. Jack Nelson. Well, he's a handful right now. He has proven to be quite a handful for Harkham. Just barely missing. He made a good run in the box. Barely misses getting on the other end of the, of the cross. Bailey had two game-winning goals last year. He'll take most of the set pieces as he did a year ago. Sophomore out of Spalding, UK. A lot of tall targets. High arcing ball to the back stick, headed down right at the keeper, Prevenson, on target, but not much behind it. That was good movement by Jack Nelson as he, he loses his marker, swings around to the back side, he's wide open, directs that header down. Bailey, or excuse me, Prevenson, a little bit of a spill again, so if you're Eastern Florida, you, Got to be paying attention yeah, to that. File that away. In two games in 24 hours. And well, now it's in, in some trouble here in the back with Papa. Able to manage it. Flag stays down for now. Seen a lot of the action from Harkham come up the left side as well. Trying to get it ahead to Silva. Had a shot moments ago. That will be cleared out, making no mistake. Center Wood. Back, center back tandem for Eastern Florida working well together to clear away the trouble. Yeah, it was a two-year starter, Wood, the captain. Defensive leaders now being paired with George Wyatt, the freshman. So it was a throw for Harkham, trailing a goal to nil. And that's too early for the water break, isn't it? Well, it's way too early for a hydration break at this point. This is uh, interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I, I wish I could tell you why they're having this stoppage so early on. Normally it's about 20, about halfway through. And we're certainly far from that. 
clock stop at 33:21. Oh, no, nope, you're gonna back it up. So 20, 33 41. It's for time. He doesn't. He doesn't like the time on the clock. <laughs> do, you, do you like referees or, or, or sticklers to you know a couple well, of seconds? It's well, I think it's here the clock is the, the official time. Normally it doesn't matter because the official time is kept on the on the pitch. So if he's backing it up, that means he's that's the official time. So it becomes important. Ooh, nice throw. Got it into the area. And now coming out of there, the Titans. Full head of steam in the center of the park. Having options, trying to find Duggan. Didn't have his, enough help. Again, it's the number 16 jersey of Luke Charles. Guy has a magnet. Every ball seems to go his way. Well, that's that's reading, right? That's being in the right place. That's what that's, what that's all about. Mo Holman was, was on a mission. German number 10, who Adam Butler was raving about in our talk pregame. On the right side is Finn O'Shea. Another center back, Papa. Now Romero, who Coach David Hughes was raving about, their left back speed up that side and right now they can't open anything up. We'll go long and Titans seem to have that covered. Eastern Florida pretty good block in a, in a really good shape. Sliding across well, cutting out passing angles. They're taking away lanes. So yeah, when you, when you do that, you just, you have to keep, if you're Harkham, you have to keep possession. It becomes about ball movement and the speed of the ball movement to try and open up opportunities to, to break some lines. Holman coming deep to retrieve. Work to the right side. Long ball looking for Nelson again. Player goes a tumbling down. I see it. Keep an eye on that. It's a little two players kind of remonstrating at each other. <laughs> I like to see it. Maybe it's a little pot simmering. You like to see a good, a good, good individual battles going on in the pitch. A little story inside the story. Touched by Thomas. Here's Homan. Hold up by Onu. Perez. And now we'll switch it near side to Bailey. Has the overlap. Ops to go straight down Broadway. The run was there, but just a bit late. Good look, well read by Preminson. Up off his out, out, out off his line and to that ball quickly. Yeah, Thomas, but he, the one that made the run. End to end, good centering ball dealt with by Eastern Florida. Harkov looks somewhat dangerous off the counter each time. Nelson harassed, fouled. Yeah, free kick. Probably just taking a little, a little extra in the attempt to tackle. Christian Papa, the Albanian center back. Watch that battle going forward. Coming up on 15 minutes down. The goal from Nelson, six minutes into this contest of the difference at the moment. Big free kick opportunity here for the Titans. Obviously Jack Nelson Big target. Let's see, he was really good on the last corner at losing his marker. Bailey, two hands in the air, right footed. Lost his marker again. Ball, a header just wide of the target. Wow. So he, start, he starts at the back of the group and then he loses marker, swings around to the front and was completely unmarked. You know he wants it back. You know he, he wants a chance to, to, he wants a chance to have that again. He'll know he should have scored on that one. Ball is well delivered put in a good area <laughs> and he wants it back for that redirect header and if you're Harkham you, you've got to find a player that can that can stay with him because that's the second time now he's been left open oh, actually third time he got free up two corners and now on that set piece Wyatt deals with it. 
On the move again from distance. Shot over the top. Oh, man. Why not have a go if you're Tiago Perez? Didn't miss by much. Yeah, this is a, we, we were speaking with, with Adam Butler, and, and he talked about Tiago's work rate, and you see it there completely. You know, they, they're sitting with, with two sixes is Harkham, two, two holding mids, and abs he just gets behind both of them. The ball, the ball goes up into the target, and he's playing right off the target, and he's able to, to open himself up to get opportunity. But he, no one around him. But that's his that's his work rate, smart, and he's he's looking to score, he's looking to looking to play forward. Wyatt. To Wood. Go forward with it. Again, in a dangerous spot it comes. Onu was there. Yeah. Battle yeah. on the near touchline. It's almost a almost a stiff arm there. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you have a look, I think, I think obviously, obviously Jack Nelson wanted it, and I, I think that Onu was a little bit screened. That's a little bit of a miscommunication. But if you're, if you're, if you're Jack Nelson, and that ball's in the area, you're going to claim it, especially the run of four Mizo. Romero and Harcum. Get a turn, not much in it. He's gonna get a, get a free kick. <laughs> Hayden Wood, like what? Well, Fr Fry's doing a good job. He holds, he holds it up well and, and uses his body well on the turn, and he's been he's been fairly consistent with that. So chance here for the Bears to equalize. Well, it's a chance to get. It's a chance to, to get Nelson up front, isn't it? It's a chance to serve the ball in the box. Or excuse me, Luke Charles. It's a chance to get Luke Charles forward. This is a situation that they're going to want to try and find him. It's like they're Peter Crouch, right? It's uh, yeah. To the back stick it goes. They are looking for Charles. He got a foot to it. I think feet got tangled up before he did, but it just piddled to the keeper, Ortega. But a nice chance there for Harkum. Well, they certainly put it in the right area for him, and he had to battle. He had but to battle I'm, to get on the other end I'm of it. I'm thinking you don't want to get it at his feet. You want to get that in no, the air. No, you want right? it in his head, but he did get around. George George Wyatt was there. Um, so it was a good, strong battle between the two. George Wyatt, the defender for Eastern Florida State. And and he was getting around, so George Wyatt's dealing with him physically and then having to deal with the ball coming in as well. Silva putting on the pressure, coming out of there. Hold them in, Wood. Caught it halfway. Sente Silva. Now Sanchez. Really nowhere to go with it. Good defensive shape. Onu will try to check it down. He's got Charles right on him. One on one. Oh. I like the read as he was trying to find Duggan. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be Finn O'Shea out for a couple seconds. He brought that ball down in an area that you shouldn't try and bring it down in. Actually, you didn't want to bring it down. It just kind of <laughs> happened that it hit him. Yeah. And it did. he did bring it down quite well. Walk but, it off. Uh, he's going to want something else to come down as well. 25 to go in the first half. Oh. Titans keep in the shape, trying to confront everything. Backside now it's Romero. Silva, who has been active, sending it into the corner. Ned Lewis will chase to the flag. One on one with Thomas. 
Thomas gets the better of him and gets out of there. Ball to the back post, measured by Ortega. Paws it in front, he's got it, and the threat is neutralized. Yeah, he saw that coming all the way. Ortega, good concentration, good call. Went up, met it nice, nice and early, nice and high. Yeah, look, it was Finochet who recovered from being struck. <laughs> I was able to get that, but the, again, just well read by Ortega. Get, as a goalkeeper, you always want to get out, get it at its highest point. Good work right there. Throw to the Titans. On the other side, if you're Eastern for a Got to keep your eye on seven, Vicente Silva. He's 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 managed to find himself in space quite a few times. So busy and has the ability to cause you problems. I believe has entered the game for Eastern Florida. Slotting in it right back, the local kid out of Rockledge who made his debut at the last game. Just getting another look here this afternoon. That was well done by Thomas Duggan. Chamberlain right now. We'll take the hydration break. The clock stops 22.03 in the first half. Nelson's goal has the Titans in front, 1-0. Yeah, good goal. Um, again, it, it, if you look at it, near, nearly a carbon copy of the first attack that they made. Um, but he made no mistake on, on the finish. Good service, so Bailey connecting with Jack Nelson. And uh, that, that proved to be a really good strong pairing, really strong option going forward early on. Um, they've they've managed to they've managed to snuff out a few attacks, a couple on the counter, but uh, overall Eastern Florida pretty much in control. First year head coach uh, Adam Butler, despite being here his his first go around here at Eastern Florida has very high expectations in this first season. Mike Parsons, uh, Eastern Florida's manager of athletics communications had a chance to catch up with him catch up with him uh, earlier this week. What would you call a good season? I mean, your first season, a lot of the guys' first season, what would you call a good season for you guys? Uh, we've, we've set some of our own goals, you know, the players have a direction that they want to go in, and I think to, to be hosting the national tournament, that has to be one of our goals. I think we're, we're on a good, uh, good trajectory, and uh, again, just work on our ball movement, keep that effort up, and uh, see them hopefully form to become more of a team. I'm hoping we're in the process of producing some fast, exciting soccer. So hopefully getting people on the edge of their seat and maybe off it. That's what we want to produce. <laughs> Fist bump. Uh, to borrow a fishing term, I think uh, Jeff Carr, athletic director, kind of landed the lunker and bringing Adam Butler in from uh, Coastal Bend uh, uh, Community College in Texas. Uh, a guy with a good coaching pedigree. And a, a, as we got a chance to sit down with him, a really uh, – a good outlook on this program and life in general. Yeah, look, it's it's an ex anytime you get to a chance to start something new, it's exciting, right? But then when you get a chance to start at a program that's had such great success as Eastern Florida, one, it's a it's a challenge because you have to keep it going. But two, you, you know you you've had a good culture and, and you've you've you're coming into a very good program. So, and then like I said, you get to move in to live here. I mean, yeah. come on. And a year ago with Coastal Bend, won their. Uh, Region 14 title made the NGCAA tournament. Before that was an assistant at Southwest Christian. Where they won the uh, National Christian College Athletic Championship. He played there as well. It's an NEIA school. First team all-conference as a player. And a first team all-American. So great playing pedigree. Also played uh, professionally. Voltage PDL, Laredo Heat in the NPSL. Mississippi Brilla, USL 2. Very familiar with the Laredo Heat, of course. As, yeah, yeah, your, your league. 
That's a team you everybody knows about, right? It's a team that's always in the in the running for one of those championships. Absolutely. Soon to be the case for Central Florida Panthers, right? <laughs> <laughs> One seven time. We were in the conference final this year. We'll see what happens next year. <laughs> Harcum. Getting stymied, trying to get forward. Angles played by Eastern Florida. left, nicely done by Finn O'Shea. Silva, nice ball, the run is on. Keeper comes out, gets just a piece of it. Puts it out for a corner, and Ortega doing the job. Great touch by Ortega, if, if not, might have been trouble again, Harkham good on the counter. As you watch, uh, as you watch, well, hopefully I will, we'll see right now. We're about to get the replay. Replay was coming, and we'll bring it back another time. But Ortega really strong off his line to get the touch. Because like I said, if not, this game could be level. And he was Ferrari. He was getting get, hounded get by the defender. As Ferrari gets behind him, and he's going to go to chip into the far post area. But Ortega coming out, nearing down the angle, getting the touch. Corner didn't yield much here. Ortega again claiming it. So Ortega, a busy guy. Take a 12 saves coming into this. And now the other end, Duggan in the oh, area, it comes back and it's a goal. Ooh la la. Well, one counter attack deserves other and that one pays off in spades for Eastern Florida State. What a finish. And it's the finish was clever, but the move to create the opportunity to score was fantastic. Watch this as Onu just drives out, finds Duggan. He's going to get on his right, but watch this little touch. Puts the guy on the floor, and then with the outside, outside of his boot. boot, finds the far post. That is a lovely, lovely finish. And and really, if you're Eastern Florida, really timely goal. Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Rutherford native. Third goal of the season. Had two goals against Johnson earlier this season. Transfer from All Saints College. And three goals, two assists. Now in just his fifth game. Well, just the That's little. Fabulous freshman. The, the little change in direction, the move to, to tuck it out behind, put the defender on the floor, but the finish, sublime little finish. Under 20 to go. 2 nothing Eastern Florida. Now, if you're David Hughes, things have gotten a little bit more difficult. Still plenty of time. You don't need to open up quite yet. Well, you're starting to get to that point, though, where you're, you're tuning down and, and you don't want to concede a third in this half for sure. You know you've played a hard game the day before. And this is probably not the recipe you would have wanted. I think you would have wanted to keep it really tight and, and keep this game definitely at nil-nil at this point. Turned over, well Silva done. a little slow on the turn. Here's Duggan on the ball from Holman. Duggan back in, dealt with by Charles. Holman, the German, battling. Continues from Bailey. Shot away, and the hits just keep on coming. Boy, another chance for Nelson. Got a turn and got the shot off with the left. Nelson, really good at coming back. He, Really good at playing as a target. Excellent finisher, of course. Equally good as a target. They can they can find his feet and he lays it off. Lovely. O'Shea. Oh. Twist it back on the other side. Romero. You can look, the Bears kind of a limited roster here on this road trip. Yeah, you're not going to be able to travel. I mean, obviously, Eastern Florida playing at home. They've, they've got just about every player that can be kitted out is kitted out. And on the other side, you know, look, you're, you're traveling and you're going to go with a, a smaller roster. 
talking with Coach Hughes, you know, what their season comes down to what's coming up. You know, they've got, you know, games against Harford and Mercer and Essex, the two games against Essex in their region. Those are big for them. Yeah. They did play Monroe College. That was another big rank type of team. They lost 3-2. Eastern Florida has Monroe coming up on Tuesday, the 20th of this month. So some similar opponents. And nobody said building a program is easy. Getting back there. There it is. Oh my gosh. The brace from Nelson. And how about that? A half bicycle, no look, and hits the back netting. That young man's a goal scoring machine. He's a finisher. And again, Eastern Florida attacking their right side, really taking advantage of Harkham's left side. And, and again, how are you not, I mean, I, do, I don't know how you're not marking a player like Jack Nelson very, very tightly, but he's, he does a good job at finding his space, playing, maybe tr dragging defenders in area, dropping back off of them. But he, he re I mean, he's, he's getting service in, in a great area. And it's one thing to get service in a great area, but you gotta finish your chances too. And he does that. You're and not defended, it makes it even easier. And and now now this task looks like climbing Mount Everest if if you're Harkham. I mean, it, they can't, it's going to get hotter. So the game's going to stay longer. It's going to get a lot tougher. Eastern Florida ranked 15th in the nation. Yesterday, Harkham lost 1-0 to the fifth team in the nation, Daytona State College. And we're in it till the eighth, uh, eight minutes to play when they conceded a penalty, which you could say was questionable depending on your view of it, but it was, if you go back and watch it on YouTube, it's kind of tough at the, dif the, the distance of it, but they, they, they felt hard done by it. Let's just say that. I could see that. I mean, I, I saw the replay and um, it's hard to discern really from, from looking at it, whether it was or it wasn't. I, I but but the hang, details, but nil, nil, until eight minutes to go against a fifth ranked team, you feel pretty good about that. And then you come here and you're getting, Trounce three nil in the first half. Well, from experience on being on road trips with young teams, <laughs> you've been there. <laughs> um, the second one is always, is always tougher. Tough. Yeah, you're right. It is, especially in the heat. And you have a look again. Just good interplay, and and the cross comes in, and you see problem right there if you have a look Luke Charles as good a defender as he is he ball watches and the minute he ball watches Jack Nelson drops off of him finds the space and he's completely unmarked you have to know if you're Luke Charles you have to know where the man is and where the ball is you have to know both things okay a chance to your, your goalkeeper will cover the near post you, he needs to, he needs to pay closer attention to where Jack Nelson big chance to tighten this up now for Harkham ball is in the area they're looking for Charles missed it Delivery wasn't bad, though, from uh, Andres Felipe Gomez. Uh, now to be playing the right back spot. Intercepted. Already ha across halfway again. Perez on the left side to Junior Smith, who's in there to get some minutes now, making his fifth appearance. Yeah, now it gets tougher, right? Because you're three 0 down, and now we start. Now you start introducing subs and fresher legs. And if if you're David Hughes, you, you probably got to start getting into your bench a little bit. But uh, one of their players, Ethan Lush, ruled out because he, he's uh, he's ill on the day. So it's, it, his squad got a little bit thinner. Adam Butler then gets to put in Junior Smith at forward, a player with two goals and an assist, who's playing with a bit of a knock right now. And then last year missed the entire season with a foot injury, or he would have been a starter. I'll tell you what, Jaden Selden, just watching there. Man, rides tackles very well. Good low center gravity, hard to knock him over. He's, he's rode several yeah. tackles and still maintained yeah. possession. Two goals, three assists off the bench, Selden, the Australian. You can, you can bring a player like that off the bench. You're happy. Transfer from Sacred Heart. And the Titans in business once more. Bailey will take the short walk to the corner. 
Jones. You've got this stacking up, trying to make it hard as they break out, trying to make it hard to to mark up. So if you're Harkin, you're trying to break that line up and, and get tight. Outswinger coming from Bailey. Whipped in, redirect Damn header ball. on the back post. Oh, doesn't matter. Yeah. O'Shea might have handled it, but it got put right back in. It is 4-0 Eastern Florida. Well, you put balls in good areas, good things happen. And that should be the hat trick. It was, so you get the look, so he's, he's, he's got position. He's trying to hold on to it to try as best he can. I don't think he touched, there you yeah, go, that's better. the finish. Again, you, you let him go, you can't let, so yes. Hat trick, and, and he's, he's he's the guy you give him that chance, he's gonna make you pay. He may need to file for a name change, change it from Jack to Rick, so he can be hat trick Rick Nelson. <laughs> right, Ricky Nelson? <laughs> so now he's doubled his goal output in not even one half of soccer. He's got six, three in this game. I'm the man with the golden touch. There's still 13 minutes to play in the first half, and it is 4 nothing. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a rather long day for Harkham. Oh, looking for Smith, who was making the run, the Manchester man. And you can just see Harkham starting to just fall off the pace of this game. This, this might be about damage limitation. Now, though. when northern teams come down to Florida and play back-to-back, -back, the idea is to set you up for later in the season, correct? I mean, you want you, you want, want good, the result. Sure, you but want. You good, hope this toughens you. Well, you want good, strong games, right? I mean, you're not coming down here to, to lose any of them. You want to win both games, right? But you know, tall tall order, tall task. Traveling conditions. You're you're playing back to back. Um, they're playing, you know, with with you know, what less than 24 hours in between kickoffs. So um, certainly tough for Harkham. But Eastern Florida is showing a lot of quality. Coach Hughes did give them a bit of a night off last night. They went down to Universal City Walk just to get soccer out of their minds for a bit. Fun place to spend some hours. Play through. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> certainly, a, certainly a memorable trip for them, but uh, might be memorable in certain ways and, and uh, some other ways they might want to not remember this trip. <laughs> certainly this half is one they probably, well, you know, you say that and um, Sometimes you do want to remember, you want to bring some things back. You know, you, you, you learn from your mistakes. But, you know, Eastern Florida, you, you get a chance to probably have a look at that game yesterday, and I'm sure they were tuned in and watching. They're in their own beds, doing their routine, getting ready for, you know, just this game. So, yeah. Definitely more ideal of a, yeah. of a match prep if you're Eastern Florida State. Yeah, haven't played since last Sunday. So they're hungry and anxious from that regard too. Cause you love to play games. Training is good, training can be fun, but let's face it, the game is what it's all about. You, you, get, you get amped up when it's game time. Four oh three goals, a hat trick <laughs> from Jack Nelson. Mm. <laughs> Did someone say Jack? Come on, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> Every touch is gonna be really. A goal. <laughs> Jack, come on, really? <laughs> the man's on a hat trick. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's come on in leaps and bounds. Let me just say. I think he's got his grandfather watching, saying hello to him. Thank you for watching and I'm sure certainly enjoying watching Jack with a hat trick here in the first half. I'm sure he spilled his tea a time or two. Yeah, watching perhaps back in Folkestone. In the celebration. <laughs> it's the only football they get to watch. There's no football, the Premier League's not playing today. So I'm sure he's enjoying it. He would have been watching this anyway. I don't think he would have turned on any other game if his grandson's playing. Yes, 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 yes. 
quiet on the diagonal. If you're Eastern Florida now, I mean, you got four to lead. This is about possession, moving the ball, and, and making it even tougher. Make, make Harkham chase as much as you can. Don't, don't give away possession very easily. Really put them under, just punish them, make them run. Make them run defensively. It's one of the hardest ones. Look at Fratz, that's, that's gonna be a free kick if not a penalty. It's close, I think it's outside the box. Might be a yellow card as well for his efforts. Definitely not in yeah, the box. Hey, he hey, fell in the box. Plead, plead his case. Uh, the, uh, and you would. If you're hard, yep. you're going to try the best you can to appeal for a penalty. But I think when you look at this replay, the, the contacts can be made just outside the area. Come on. Ferrari's proven to be quick and see the other contact. So good call by the referee. It's outside the area. But you, you, on the counter, they have oh, been. Another yellow, too, has just been delivered. Well, that's probably for some comments made after the fact. Unless that was the initial yellow card given. Uh, I saw, so, okay, I saw so that was the second one I saw. So, so that one's probably for a little extracurricular, something that was said. Um, but hey, you know, here's an opportunity for Harkham to pull one back. I mean, it's a free kick, danger area. It's a little tougher outside the area. You've got to be really good at getting, getting the ball up, up and, and down, down quickly. So the, the bend and the whip on this ball. You you got to get your foot swung through this ball and, and upward to create to create that dip. Hey Ortega giving directions on where he wants everybody. And our referee Carlos Morales Lastra getting everybody squared away, getting the ten back. For me, this is always about math, right? It's an eighteen yard box. You're right at the top of it. The yard's six yards, so you should just be two yards outside the top of the six, and you got your ten yards, right? It's all about math. <laughs> for those, for those kids, math. those kids listening, and you don't think you're going to use math, you always need math. Trying to get it through, <sighs> missed it. They're claiming that there was touched. Yeah, they're wanting a handball, but the wall does its job. Turn into a corner now. Definitely gonna want to get Luke Charles. You're Luke Charles, man. You're gonna try. You've got to get yourself on a ball somewhere in this box. High arcing ball to the back post falls just inside the six. And Ortega's on it. You don't. You don't want those balls arced in. I mean, anything like that. Yeah. Time. Time favors the defense, right? So. Balls that are that are high, that are hanging, allows the goalkeeper to get underneath. Yeah, you'll take that all day if you're the keeper. Yeah, you want to whip those balls in. You, you've got to you've got to get it you've got to get it served in. Bailey deep here, using the whip. All right, you got a soundtrack to the game now. <laughs> a little, a little fiesta, in Eastern Florida. I don't know if that was Shakira. What was that? <laughs> Chase's no, 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 flag no, no, is up. No, 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 no. Little Shakira for you. Good for you. You know what the kids like. Oh, I'm not. I'm not the DJ. I'm not spinning. <laughs> Six minutes to play. Four nil. If I was spinning, you'd get something from from the '80s. You get something like Motley Crue or Yes, Def Leppard or something. Kickstart poison. my heart. Yeah. Poison. Uh, kickstart my heart. That's Markham right there. Kick, what, kickstart. Adam, kickstart their heart. Kickstart their half. I wonder if Adam Butler has a say on what the pregame music selection is and what it would be. That'd be interesting. He's much younger, so yeah, maybe some Coldplay. <laughs> What is this, a figure skating? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know I don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Afters there. Coming back with Thomas. <laughs> Gymnastics and, 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 and figure savings where you hear the cold play. This is just Stone Cold right here coming out. I'm looking for the big long ball, both players. And coming on. Ah, it's not that. That, that looks shoulder a lot. Shoulder. That looks a lot worse than what it is. Players run at speed, and one player just went tumbling a little bit. Nothing really. In Adrian, it. Adrian, now in the game. So, like the name so much, named it twice. Yeah. 
Yeah, that they're big Rocky fans. Yes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Adrian, Adrian, we did it! <laughs> I'm sure he's never heard that joke. Probably not, but I'm old. Adrian from Orlando. Good player off the bench at the moment. Freshman. How about that one? Sticks to the gloves that time of Prebinson. And held. And you see them trying to get a quick counter. Should be no problem for Wyatt. Ferrari was wanting to run, but that ball was not served. Wyatt on target, you knew he wouldn't get there. Holds up, checks his run. But he's been, I'd tell you, if, if, there's, a, if there's a spark for, for Harkham, you, it's, it's Lorenzo Ferrari. Very dangerous off the counter, quick. And he is quick, you're right, Jeff, you have pace. From Palestro, Italy. Good overlapping run to the top of the box, dealt with. We'll Trying to work it out here with what, Lewis. Once you see every Eastern Florida, you just got to do everything you can, bust a gut to get in the box. Nice turn. Get the other side, lovely turn. Ned Lewis. And the Kent man oh, put to ground, and that brings out the yellow. Turned on a dime. Gave him nine cents change. So Mo Holman gets his yellow. Yeah, it's, that's pretty simple call if you're the official. Comes with three minutes to play in this opening half. Take a look. See that turn, nice turn. Shows inside, turns well. Yeah. And yeah, look. Went in hard. Comes in to put in a tackle and, and unfortunately gets, gets a little more it's a little more Ned Lewis than the ball. <laughs> it's like that. Oh, you're saying game, on. You're saying game operation, Jeff? Or you, yes, yeah. You don't want to get yeah. the piece, but yeah, you, you didn't quite hit the out. side. Yeah, and, you yeah. Know, so it's kind of, he went yeah. in for the tackle. Didn't quite get it clean. Got a little bit of the bone. Yes. Yep. Pick up a You yellow. lose. Yep. <laughs> Keep him with the Rocky theme, Mr. Drago. <laughs> you will lose. Yeah, that's good. Adrian, Adrian from Orlando, not young enough to possibly be named by the former head coach of Orlando City, Adrian Heath. No. no. Minnesota, who actually, <laughs> Minnesota United of MLS tends to train here every year or two on this facility. It's pitched beautiful. Former Everton man. Yeah, this pitch has been used, this pitch has been seen by a lot of big time clubs. Now you and I uh, called this Stoke City match here one time. Back when they were in the Premier League, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Way back then. <laughs> the good old back, days. Back in the, uh, yeah, the good old the, days the, of your Stokes. The, the Tony Pulis days. Coming near side. Eastern Florida still trying to put on a press, still still playing hard. They, they have not letting up, and that's good. Sometimes teams can get a, a, a lead and they start cruising, but nope. They're going to keep the pedal down, and that's what you want. Habits are yeah, forming. You want to, you want to like, run through the tape. Well, habits you get are to the finish. Yeah, line, right? habits are forming. If if you get a, how about that one from Onu? Wow, well, that was Adrian. Yeah, wow. Adrian, Adrian with a punch. Yeah, a little off target, but found found lots of space again. Good good ball movement from Eastern Florida. Comes out. So it'll, as you can see, we. Run back a little bit. That's comes off a, but it comes off a throw, and, he, and Adrian Adrian finds a lot of space in the middle and, and does the right thing. He says, pull the trigger, take shot. Head down, give it a whack. One minute to go. <laughs> Titans in control here. Well, it's, this is really good if you're if you're Eastern Florida because you know, I think coming up this, this Wednesday you're going to have Daytona State. You're going to yeah. have a, a really good match. So, good tune-up. Not broadcasting that one, but man, you want to come out here and, and, and watch that one. I might if just. You're, if you're watching now, 
on WEFS. That game will be a seven o'clock start. Don't lose it, don't lose it, just keep her, keep her. Titans lost to Daytona State twice last year in real rough affairs. A lot of extra security, out of control play. And we'll try to reverse that trend. It is a rivalry, Jeff. Got to get through this one, but they are up four goals to nil against Harcum College. So Titans over the Bears, 4-0. Halftime coming your way next. And we'll see you back here in a bit. You're watching Titan Soccer on WEFS. international kids that we're bringing this year is the first time since I'm in this program that I bring so many international kids uh, from Italy, uh, Brazil and Spain. Uh, we're really excited the culture that they're bringing, the way they're climbing into the program, to the system is really helping and I think it's going to make a big difference this year with, with, our, with our record and our, and our performance. The first week, I did not expect to see all this competition from all the players. That, you know, since they won, uh, they have shown that they want to compete, that they want to improve. We all have the same mindset, uh, that is to win and to take this program to the next level. So I'm really excited about that. I like how we're having the setup this year. We're going to have an A team and we're going to have a B team. And not only are we competing against other teams in our conference, we're competing against each other to have the best position on the court and to have the most playing time because we all want to be here, we all want to compete, and we all want to perform and make it to states, nationals, the highest level of playing that we can get to as a team. And another thing that I learned from last year was you cannot come onto this court and just play to practice. You have to play to win. And we could we didn't have an answer last year of our record of seven and fourteen. We couldn't figure out, you know, why couldn't we pull through? Because we had the talent, we had the coaching, you know, we had the energy. Why couldn't we pull through? It's because we came in here and we were practice players and we only wanted to be game players in tough situations on the court. So when I came in, I definitely had to take a step back verbally, I think, but when I came to play, I was always putting 100% in every single day because I am here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to improve and be successful. I think my strength this year is being a team leader. I like to um, push other girls to do better because I know what it's like being a freshman coming in and kind of being insecure and shy and not knowing what to expect so I can be a role model for these girls that are coming in and push them to be better than they think they could be. What most impressed me is like the workouts. Like we work out a lot, do a lot of exercise. We really want to go to the nationals and to the state tournaments. This is our biggest goal. You should come out and watch us because we want to win. Our team goal collectively was to go to states, to go to nationals. So we're all here, we want to play. We're game players in practice and in game situations. So it's going to be an exciting, fun year. Basically, if you're joining the Eastern Florida, just become a part of the Cyber Titans. Even if you're not going for a cybersecurity degree, um, the knowledge transfer that happens in that club um, applies to any tech degree, not just cybersecurity. So the thing that really was a turning point for me in this field actually was the club itself. 
The club gave me an opportunity to really explore and also gain confidence in myself that I didn't have before. But yeah, uh, being the president for the cybersecurity club, it definitely like led me into being in a more of a leadership role position. Um, a lot of the employers, especially for students, they want to see that you're interact. They want to see you in like competitions and stuff because they really do look into those things. Saturday afternoon soccer here in Melbourne, and the Titans are just a rolling 4 0 over Harkham College at the half. Jeff Radcliffe, Tom Traxler, and our entire WEFS crew, happy to have you along. And uh, look, they scored f four goals in less than half an hour. Yeah, but I mean, all deserved uh, good goals. Uh, I mean, all good goals. The third one was probably just special individually as as we'll get a look um it was thomas dugan on the third but it was really the the jack nelson show i mean the young man with a hat trick in the first half eastern florida really wanting to pick on on oh. on, the, on the left side of of harkham six and minutes in anytime you give a striker like that room to run and, and good delivery and, and right inside the six they you have no chance and and great finish right there here again Good thrust by Onu from the middle. And look at that. Look at that little cut. That special. What a finish. Outside the boot. Just magnificent. I'm sorry, that was the second goal. And again, carbon copy almost from the first goal. But you see, <laughs> Jack Nelson, as he, as he, as he comes in, changes his run, makes his space, and then does what he has to do. This is what a goal scorer does. He goes, hey, I got to get my foot on it. It's a little bit high. He takes he takes the sky a little half volley. Three minutes a little, later, a little side volley does sitting well. Sitting on a hat trick. Well, this is why you don't stop. Watch Jack Nelson. He watches and bang. You, he was wrapped up. Well, you see, he's wrapped up, and then the player says, "Ah, nothing there." You can't quit on a guy like Jack Nelson because he's not quitting. Yeah, clean up on aisle nine. So, the sophomore from Folkestone, England, has the hat trick. He's got six goals now on the season. He's doubled the total. That's a goal scorer, Jeff. I mean, that's that's what goal scorers do. They they clean up things. They create things. They I mean, he's just it's a, a strike goal rate of two goals a game, and he still has another half to play here. We should see uh, a, a number of the uh, reserves come in here in the second half. Should they hold this lead here in the first couple of minutes? You would think. Um, you know, they've got a big game coming up Wednesday against uh, against Daytona State. So I think, you know, not playing since Sunday and not playing again since Wednesday might want to give, give give his first choice a little bit more run than yes as this game starts to starts to wind down, then start to get some experience for players that are on the bench. That second half coming your way next on WEFS. Titans 4-0 over the Bears. So here in Palm Bay, we have several cybersecurity courses for both the AS degree program and the BAS, and they span between cybersecurity and forensics. It's kind of like a boot camp style that I think of it, and really get your hands into uh, dealing with information technology and have some fundamental knowledge before you go into cybersecurity. You have to have uh, a, a passion for computers and have a passion for the field to excel in it. So it's a, real, it's a really good field to go into uh, if you're already in computers and you want to expand your knowledge. So here in Palm Bay, we, we were able to create an isolated network that is completely off the grid of, the, of campus. And it gives the students the ability to work within that sandbox and play with those tools, get a better understanding of how they work. So we have a cyber range that um, has um, networking and server equipment that simulates a live data center. It's just kind of um, much smaller, uh, but it gives the students the chance to play in a semi-similar data center environment where they can see 
um, what, it, what it would take to um, mitigate those types of attacks. The AS degree program in fire science technology uh, basically encompasses a, uh, a group of certificate-based programs uh, that are required by the State uh, Bureau of Fire Science and Training for firefighters. The people that come in and go for their AS degree here at Eastern Florida State College are the, uh, the people that we want to see come up. They're driven, uh, you know, driven young men and women that are looking to be the future of the fire service. When somebody comes in to, to learn tactics and strategy, uh, they're learning that so that they can be uh, more qualified on the, uh, on the job and out in the street as a, as a fire officer. Uh, I've been a firefighter for two years and been a paramedic for almost nine now. The AS degree helps me with promotions at work, um, also raises at work and allows me to become an uh, instructor either in paramedic or uh, out here on the fire grounds. During the time in a course such as uh, company officer leadership for the fire service, uh, you'll learn what it takes to lead a crew for a day and take care of the issues that may arise uh, as you go. There's four classes in my S degree that gives me my fire officer one. After you get these core classes and take the state test, you have to have a task book finished that you complete at work. When your chief signs off on it, you can turn it in and then take the state test for your F01. There's a need for people to have technical skills, and, and that's where we come in. We teach quality, we teach safety, and then we also specialize with those skills needed for the industry in Brevard County. The Engineering Technology is a two-year associate degree program. We uh, have first-year core classes that are same as the other 17 colleges in the state of Florida that teach engineering technology and then second your options in fields that are appropriate for the county where you're based. So at Eastern Florida, we have second year options in electronics and alternative energies and in advanced manufacturing. The majority of our students are people that are already working for some company and they want to improve their career. It, it's clean work, it's, it's good paying work, it's high skilled work. From my personal experience, uh, it's, it's done me well. Eastern Florida for Harkham nil as we get set for second half action on a beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon here on the Space Coast. And we get ready for that second half. So men's soccer, women's soccer, volleyball all off and running this season. And speaking of running, Eastern Florida's newest programs got off to their debut, the cross country teams this morning. That was uh, Doug Butler, he's the head coach, former legendary coach at Holy Trinity and Satellite. They got off this morning about uh, 8 a.m. The women played, uh, got off to their race, which was a 5K race. The men, uh, an 8K race. But look at the field here. You had schools uh, like UCF, Florida College, Embry-Riddle, Florida Southern, Florida Tech, South Florida State College, Lake Sumter, Florida Gateway, all running. So you had Division One, Division Two. NAIA, junior colleges. So great place to get off and running. Got the beautiful drone footage here as they were off. So the, 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 the two newest programs making their debut. Another exciting time here to uh, be a part of uh, Titans Athletics. Don't have a word on how they fared, but they started over at Bruce Bochy Field. So a nice one and a half mile course that they uh, ran around here this morning when it was cooler well, than it's pretty, it is now. It's pretty fascinating look at the start. I, and then I look at the group as they come through and I go, man, the guy at the back. 
Is he gonna like make a run? Is he gonna like? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kick. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, he, he didn't look like he was. Uh, doing, whoever that was in the back didn't look like he was. He doing was. He was good. the Harcum College of, of the of the run this <laughs> yeah, morning, he, and he's got a long way to come back to. But Referee. definitely, really cool vantage point. I love the aerial footage. I love the pickup of the what start you can of that do race. With drones now, it's outstanding. Before you, before you and I, before we too long, you and I will be sitting on top of a drone calling matches and. Have you know, we'll be we'll be editing in our minds and have to be a really strong drone to support me, Jeff. <laughs> For all, that drone might have to have a jet engine for propulsion. Yes, yeah. To keep me up, take the the, the weapons of war drones and then retrofit them, and we want ride in like a, uh, what was the movie? What's the, the the Kubrick movie where he rides the bomb all the way down to, yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Can't remember the name of it. Just make like, it. like rides like a horse down. Anyway, well. Titans getting set for second half. They'll attack left to right. And it has been bombs away from the beginning. Nelson, the first half hat trick. Looks like Junior Smith will get a start here in the second half. Jaden Selden is well on the near side. And we are off. Half number two, 45 to go. What's the what's the message at halftime for, yeah. from each coach? I yeah, was gonna that's, get to. that's pretty interesting. If if I'm if if I'm David Hughes and I'm Marco, I'm saying, look, guys, the first half is gone. We know it's it's a mountain to climb, but let's go out and win the second half. Let's let's come out. Let's keep things tight. Let's make them work harder for it, and, and let's try and be the team that wins the second half. Let's walk out here with a bit of a good feeling about ourselves. If and I'll oh how pause. about that ball? So they get it into Smith. Smith takes a shot. Save made by Prevenson. No, that's and actually Tobias Chilef. They made a they made a keeper change. They yeah, made a keeper change. I Tobias Chilef Messiel from Uruguay. Prevenson was probably shell shocked. And it's a good time. I mean, it's four 0 You might as well make a change, right? Yeah. So, so on that start, I was going to say that if if I'm Adam Butler, I'm saying keep the pedal down. We don't let up. It's four. We know that, but we do not let up. We keep playing the way we want to play. We keep doing the things we want to do, and we keep going strong. And that's exactly what they've started. It's exactly how they've started. Good chance to open up the half. They play it near here, short. Bailey outside the area, whistles it to the back stick. Oh my gosh. Adrian. Wow. Adrian, Adrian. <laughs> With a flair for the dramatic, man. He was the <laughs> Watch again. Ball's going to be whipped in. That's how you want it. Oh, yeah. Well, see, everybody wants to get in on what Nelson's been doing. Oh, I, I love the acrobatic attempt at a finish. It's all he had, and he's like, I'm going for it. I love it. Yeah, comes back to Wood. He and Wyatt still at center back here. Chamberlain continuing to run out on the right side, right defensive spot. Bailey crossing halfway. Another ball served in, and they are testing the new keeper, Maciel, immediately. Yeah, so if you're Junior Smith, you see that thing. Get in those areas in the box, and then here on the on the on the far side as well, start getting into those near at the far post areas. Because you know the service is coming. Throw in back to the Bears here. Lost in the semis last year, Salt Lake. Not no problem there for Wyatt. have this bevy of attacking options too, man. Yeah, the front three is quite dynamic. <laughs> Selden shed some stuff. Here is Chamberlain getting forward. Up the line it comes. Santiago Linares in the match. 
So no. Payne play on. No, it, that's went a, a tumbling tackle. down. That's a good tackle. He was trying to get something out of that that wasn't there. That was Alessandro Sanchez. He's back up. Imagine that. Remember Smith. Or Adrian, rather. Oh, he's got a big motor. Adrian, Adrian. Yes, he does indeed. Quite energetic, quite industrious. Freshman out of Orlando already. A couple of shots on goal on either side of halftime. Defensive work here from Adrian. All the way in front. Ortega gives chase. He'll have to play it with his feet. Not, no problem. He's going to play with it. He does a, a no look to the side, to the sideline. <laughs> My option was to play it out. Turn. And the, the Titans will reset. Rafael Soto in there as well for Eastern Florida. Venezuelan freshman. Hold up. From Gomez. Up comes from Benjamin Cook. Yep. Each of these coaches have made a bevy of substitutions here to start this second half. And we'll run out of real estate. Trying to show a little bit of signs of life. Again, for them, possession, possession, possession. Try and, try and keep it. Try and take some of the sting out of this for yourself. Try and move Eastern Florida around a little bit. But they've looked most dangerous, really, off, off counterattacking opportunities. With Ferrari up top. for the Bears. And we'll put that right at Ortega, no problem. Pause it right back down. And the pickup. Uh, Lorenzo Ferrari. Well, you know, look, you're if gonna, you're, you're going to wait. Well, if you're Ortega and you're going to put the ball down and it's playable, then you have to expect the player's going to come in and try and win it from you. you got to expect that a little bit. You can't be too upset. Chamberlain, back to the inside. Good work from Gomez, just to slow it down. You can see that some of these Harkham players are breathing heavy. Well, it's tough. It's it's tough. The humidity, the heat, and they're wearing black. Now they can't wear white. No, maybe purple. <laughs> We're purple. A little, little less absorbed, absorbed. Yeah, unless you're gonna hook some umbrellas to your backs. I, not allowed, I don't think. Run continues here from Lewis. Circle back, escorted by Hubert Darragon, out of play. Turn, good turn. Good, that save. One on. good responsive save, and then going back to collect again. Ortega, Ferrari again, bright spot for Harkin forcing Ortega into the save. Ortega quick to get up because the ball got by him, so quick to get up to pick up the rebound. It was a, a chance at a rebound. It was Alejandro Sanchez. Just couldn't get enough on it.
press coming from the Bears. Line of confrontation. Uh, yeah, they're gonna try. I would, I would think they'd want to be harder breakdown, sit in a bit of a lower block. They're tired. Pressing is not gonna be, is not gonna be on the menu at this point. Jaden Selden trying to play that through. No run was being made. A little heavy to begin with. Back at halfway. Good skill by Romero. Leaving to the right side. Looking to cross. The layback in the area and skied over the bar. That's, t that's tired. Needs a lot more quality. That's Finn O'Shea. No, it's Lewis. Oh, excuse me, yeah. that's Lewis. I apologize. Ned Lewis and needs, needs a lot more quality on that ball. That's, that's tired. Goal of two assists coming in. Now Harkham putting on some pressure and getting some half chances anyway. Look, fine, it's a, it's a good turn by Ferrari, and he, again, tries to cross things of Palm, but it was Alejandro Sanchez who just really couldn't tame the rebound. Ortega got back up quick. That's what you train as a keeper. Like, it's like popping up on a surfboard, right? You know, when you're training, you usually make one save, and then there's no serving in another ball immediately, so you have to get up quick. You got to learn as a keeper, you can't stay down. You got to get back up because there's secondary saves to make. Adrian, all put together, diagonal ball. Selden will be reset by Bailey. Skipped over to Wyatt. Mr. Floor will be content with this pace, right? Yeah, I think these, some of these players are getting some time and they're going to want to get in a rhythm. Uh, again, I, I always say if you're a player that, that gets a chance in a game like this, it's not clean up time or, or, you know, charity time. This is time you need to show Adam Butler what you can do. You want to make him have difficult choice to make great ball, good touch. On the move in the area, laid off oh. and rolled down, making the collection is Maciel. Yeah, Junior Smith, he just didn't get enough, didn't get enough on the ball. And a counter get a shot off is the question. Able to do so, misses the target wide to the right. Quick on the counter. It's been, the, again, it's been the most dangerous part of Harkham's attack today. It's where their, Felipe Gomez. It's where their chances have come from. Does have a goal this season. So you see a lovely touch by Smith, gets it wide. Ryan Thomas with it, and you can see he just kind of tries to steer it with his left, couldn't quite get enough power. Good run by Rafael Soto, though. Rafael Soto with the yeah, with the cross. Good run. Uh, it was a great touch by Junior Smith to play him in. Some changes here. Trotting in now, Onu. Another run out. Started this match. Smith kind of stays up top. Hey, 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 4 3 3 for Adam Butler. Hey, hey, hey. 32 minutes to play. Onu can't keep it. Gomez. Come back to Eastern Florida. Ben Cook now at left back for Harkham. He's still got 
got Charles and Papa manning things in the center. O'Shea will double back and collect that one after the misplay. Run down that right side. Running out of real estate. Sliding in safe. And it will be in behind for a goal kick. Grego Vargas in for Harkham, player that we spoke with their coaching staff about. It could be headed off to LaSalle, play D1, right winger out of Hungary. Number 12. Let's see what he can do. Collected by Bailey, sent out left. Trying to find Smith, the Manchester man in the area. Gets no. throttled down. No. But just just good hip check. Nah, it's, just, it's just really just two players coming into one another. No, no real foul there. But, hey, if you're Junior Smith, you, you, you go down, you never know. Referee might see it as something different. Nah, it's just good hard competition. Yeah, but if you just watch this, two players coming together to play the ball. No foul. Shoulder to shoulder all day long. Does lead to a corner kick here for Eastern Florida. They lead 4-0. They've been dangerous off corner yeah. opportunities so far today. Bailey's delivery has been pinpoint. Another in swinger. Yeah. And there it is. Got another chance. Anytime you get the balls whipped in. That's what we talked about in the first half. We said if you float them, eh, you, you <laughs> floating them, <laughs> nothing's going to come. It's too high, too easy for defenders going to underneath. But if you get good runs and you've whipped the ball in, and you get a and you get a runner in good areas, you can create all kinds of problems. It's near side, that's didn't quite go where it needed to go. That's well done by Rafael Soto. Again, just strong on the ball. Eastern Florida will keep it. Gomez. Sanchez. They work it to the back. Charles from Papa. Play it direct. Chase is on for Vargas. Grego. Got a little bit of pace to him. Eastern Florida recovers, now goes on the attack. This game's getting really stretched. If you're Harkham, this is not what you want. Onu steps to the right, gets past one challenge. To the back post and in. It is 5-0 and a brace for Thomas Duggan, his second goal. First of the second half for Eastern Florida. Onu with the assist, and Harkham says, oh, no. Because we said the game is starting to get stretched, and Onu's just going to take him in, but then take him right back outside and put the ball on the floor. And Duggan, smart, he's just he's just making a hard run to the far post because he knows that the far post is open. The keepers had to come to the near post. Smart, Onu with just a smart ball on the floor, good hard, driving in toward the back post. Every player doing exactly what you're supposed to do. So Duggan now has his fourth goal of the season. Onu his second assist. And give Rolo a lot of credit for the run into the box where he overstepped one challenge and put it to the back post. What is it? 7-11. It's always open. <laughs> always open. 7-14 to 14 in this case, though. 11 was in there, though. See, Sam Bailey, just, he was just lurking. He goes, I, I'm at this point. Like I said, if you're Harkham, you've got to keep things tight now. Like, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't I don't think their approach to the game from the standpoint of the comeback is on. <laughs> but yeah. but you, you don't you don't want to walk away with having something hung on you like, you know, six, seven, and eight. What does it mean to the poll voters though when they see this score flash across oh, the they won't, they won't, website. They won't look at the, the some of the factors that are involved, but I, you know, again, I would say that whole, this game's just gotten away from Harkham. It's just gotten away from them completely. And Eastern Florida have been good on the day. It's a case of 
Eastern Florida being really good. It's a case of Harcum just being not in the races. So if, if you're Harcum, just keep yourself compact. Keep yourself really tight, hard to break down. And you've been good on the counter, so you know you can hurt them on the counter. He's trying to keep it in the attacking half, able to do so. Bailey spreads it left. Find Thomas. Junior. Ooh. Oh, that turn. Another shot away. Pawed in front by Maciel. Rafael Soto been very active here in this second stanza. Yeah, good, good ball control right there. Fantastic. Duggan wants ability. his hat trick. Yeah, Duggan, he's <laughs> like, you know, I, I want to I have the second hat trick on the day. Then at that point, how much you want to bet Jack Nelson's bugging Adam Butler to get back in? Yeah. Uh, we need you. Going to need to save some of those goals that are in your legs for that big game coming up on Wednesday. It's Daytona State, fifth ranked team in the country. You get a little payback from last year. Should be a dandy, I'll tell you. It should be full of energy and two teams that are going to that are going to go at one another. Should be a lot of emotion there. Rivalry games are always fun, or you could call it a derby game if you want to be. Yeah. Bart just built a good program up, up by 95. Kelly, their striker, you know well. I do. He is legit. Irishman. He is legit. He's 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 like a Jack Nelson. He's a little little bit well, a little bit. He's a goal scorer, but um, he also will drop in. Kind of plays as a false nine, so you've got to really keep your eye on him. Kevin Kelly, he, a talented player. So I mean, there's a lot of good matchups that are going to happen on Wednesday night. If you if you're in the area, I would suggest getting out here and watching that. It's going to be a good game to watch. Well, I take the hydration break. And sophomore Sam Bailey, who made the all-region team as a freshman with the Titans last season, he's assumed more of a leadership role this year as the captain and had this to say about this 2022 team. Talk about this group. It's a lot of new faces mm. uh, along with uh, a lot of guys back. Talk about the mix you guys have got so far. Yeah, it's exciting because obviously last year we come in a lot of freshmen. So this year to have the sophomores in is uh, a lot better and it helps the freshmen settle in a lot easier. And then we've got some t talented boys coming in as freshmen and we're really excited for the season ahead. Talk about what you would say would be a successful season for you guys this year. Nationals, 100%. We've got to make nationals. That's the first aim. Salt Lake is the first win, of course, but then we build momentum from there. We get to nationals, we highly get highly ranked, and then we'll see where the tournament leads us. And is there a little extra pressure since we're hosting nationals for the first time this year? No pressure for us. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. That's right. The national is going to be held here a couple months' time, would, and they would like to be playing on home turf. I would tell Sam, pressure makes diamonds. It does. Pressure is a privilege. <laughs> Do you hear that from like, like high school wrestlers? They've been drilled into them. Just, I, fo just follow what no, the coach says. That one I have would have no idea. Pressure is a privilege. <laughs> I like that. There's that uh, TV advertisement with uh, Christian Pulisic. Talk about the pressure he's under. <laughs> I think it's a Volkswagen commercial. Have you seen it? It's good. I, I have not. Um, the guy that plays, I think it's Sam Goldstein's his name. The guy that plays uh, Roy Kent on. Ah, uh, uh, yes. On, on uh, Ted Lasso is got a little quick cameo in it. What a show that is! Yes, right. Who would have thought? A from little a promo from like from a, what? From a promo eight to ten to years series, ago on yes. NBC Sports. Jason Sudeikis to, to Emmy after Emmy, and what they'll tell you, it's not a show about soccer. No, it's not. It's about life. <laughs> of course, Ted Lasso, former coach of Leicester. <laughs> Leicester. Oh, I think it was Tottenham, right? It was in the, the commercial. Tot it was Tot Tottenham, Tottenham Spurs, but then he also yeah, got yeah. a call from Leicester. Leicester. <laughs> you would think the 
the English folks that watch it love the, the bastardization that Americans are known for of the game. <laughs> well, Ted Lasso. They, 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 just, they, they just triumph in it. <laughs> well, <laughs> you want to talk to Jesse Marsh at, yeah, at Leeds because right. he's, been, he's been called Ted Lasso a few times. Yeah, right. Well, before him. Right at, uh, at Swansea. Bob Bradley Bob call, call, called a penalty at PK and never heard the end of it. Yeah, you got to be careful with your terminology around the Brits. Ted Lasso. And then Ted Lasso was being called Ronald McDonald by Roy Kent in the first season. So by extension, <laughs> is he now Ronald McDonald? By extension, he could be. <laughs> I did. I remember a conversation with our friend Lewis Neal, played at Stoke, played at Orlando City, DC United. Uh, asked him one time before a broadcast, "So, what do you really think of of, of Americans? Do we are we kind of like, you know, do we kind of have the, 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 the do we we do we screw up the the English language? Do we kind of look down as like Hicks?" And he said, "Absolutely, mate. That's exactly how we look at it." <laughs> 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 to be fair, he said. It's a polite way of saying it. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to say it. <laughs> Mike, well, thanks for being honest. Substitution's ready for each we'll, team. We'll see what happens to that conversation come come uh, Black Friday this year when England play the U.S. Yes. Longhorns in the World Cup. Yeah, I got the 1-1 uh, one, one result back in 2010. Dempsey, that equalizing goal that was a bit of a howler, if you remember. Andro Santoro checking in. Going to see some action, so Leandro, Adam Butler going to give some players an opportunity. And again, it is an opportunity. You have to look at it that way if you're these players. Saw a lot of time last year, had a couple of starts this year. From Luzerne, Switzerland. Good at timekeeping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good turn. It got caught, though. Mm. He had the That's turn in. Yeah, he had the turn in. It was looking good, and he got, he got caught. Smith is up. <laughs> 22 minutes to go. Result has, for the most part, been decided. The oh. score line has not. I don't think it's for the most part. I think, yeah, the only thing that's in doubt is the score line. I don't think the result's anywhere in doubt at this point. I don't think, the, I don't think that result's been in doubt since uh, about the third goal in the first half. But Harkin with Ferrari back on. So, again, if you, you want the clean sheet. If you're Eastern Florida, you, you haven't done all this to, to concede and get sloppy. But they are good on the counter, and Ferrari's key to that. So if you are the defenders for and, and you're defending for Eastern Florida, so you've got to watch the counter and you've got to pay attention to him. Silva up there as well, more central. Ah, the race is on. Back to it, O'Shea draws a foul. Thomas Duggan, and he he's running. He wants his third goal. You can see it. Some players would be content to just let this player chase it back. They got position. No, look at Thomas. He's like, I want this. He's going to try and mm -hmm. going to try and get the inside. It's like, oh, he doesn't want to foul him. He wants to make it hard, not let him, not give him an easy out. Back, Santoro got a foot to the ball. Uh, Onu had some work to do with that. Yeah, and that's a forward coming back yeah. to do due diligence well, defensively. They were they put a lot of pressure, so he had a lot of work to do to get that back pass He'll off. Get this now. Has the overlap on the right side for Chamberlain if he wants it. Instead, we'll go into the center. Chamberlain on it again. Into the corner, Soto. Yep. He's going to pick up the foul. Oh, Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, hey. Oh. 
You can say some things, but you can't say that. Benjamin Cook into the book. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't have words like that with with the assistants or the referee. That's not going to be looked upon favorably. Soto and Onu, ball side here. It was a nice little, nice little Soto. Again, he's really strong in the dribble. Really, really good in control. Makes a nice little turn with the outside of his boot and goes run forward and gets caught. Referee and his determination says it's a foul. So a chance for Eastern Florida to get another ball corner style whipped into the box. Yep. Adam Butler. We'll see some changes coming up. Yeah, I'm sure. Good deep on the bench today. Uh, Soto does have an assist to go with a goal this year. Coming off the bench. Here, the assistant on this near side near the ball, telling him all to calm down. Simmer down now. Yeah, simmer down now. Soto with the right foot. Swinger up coming, readying for it is Maciel. Keeping it low, top of the box. The way it's going, you, you you're watching Thomas Duggan. You 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 wouldn't want to bet against him getting his third. Uh uh. As the game's kind of taking a turn, it's it's kind of slowing down. You, you do see Harkham now just kind of sitting deep, saying, "Let's let's just make sure that." There's no more goals scored against us. Again, you don't want to have six and seven hung on you as you're as you're headed home. Eighteen minutes to play. Soto, Duggan sitting on a hat trick. Smith. Ooh, that's sh oh, really? Thought it could be a I thought it could be a foul free kick right there. If you're going to get a lot of the calls up. Well, you, the chair threat. You're not calling calls on the score. You're calling calls on what it is. And he turns, plays. plays I uh, got the ball, but he, eh, come from behind. I guess he's going to say that he, he played the ball. He did get the ball. I just got. Just got confirmation, number 18, who just touched the ball, just came in for the first time as a Titan, is Izon Gill, who is a tremendous get for Coach Adam Butler. Hasn't even practiced really with the team yet. Finally got just got cleared. He's the one with the, the blonde hair. He's six foot one and a central midfielder. And now look out. Don't make a mess of that one. So Onu looking to get on the scoreboard there. That was almost calamitous. But Gill from Belize, he's a member of the full Belize national team. Play at Verdes FC as well. So, and if you just turn his film on online, it, it will pop off the charts. There he is right there. So, well, you're certainly a not beast gonna, mode type of player yeah, in the center of the park. You're not gonna miss him with the blonde locks. No. 
Well, you're not going to miss him when he's 6-1 no. in the center midfield either. Yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. Eyes on Gill. And people are going to keep their eyes on That's him for the rest say. of the season. <laughs> <laughs> keep your eyes on, eyes on. So we're, you know, if you're a treat to this newcomer who could well, really a, make a difference this year. It's a good chance to get him in, right? He hasn't played, but it's not like you're in a pressurized situation. No, not so at all. You got a bit of a... Yeah, is he in in a 1-0 game, yeah. having not played with everybody? No. No, you got him in a, in a freebie to get a look and get him comfortable with everyone. These are the situations you want to go through with them, you know, making sure they know where to be in set-piece situations. And sometimes a tough thing coming on as a, as a player is remembering where everywhere you're supposed to be. Just wanting to get on the scoreboard at least once here to have something to take back with them instead of two shutouts. Well, an awful lot of effort put in the match yesterday. And uh, to walk away with, uh, let's say, maybe in their eyes, a controversial loss um, on, a, on a penalty that they feel could have been pretty questionable. They'll look at that. They'll, they won't take much from this one, and they won't want to, and they won't even think about it, but they'll probably look at the first one more. Just out of the reach of Izon. To the back post. And dealt with. There's Owen Armour. Owen Armour, your old pal, your old player at Winter Park High School. Spent, spent a few years together. Getting some, getting some minutes. We should have a look at the, the turn and then Felipe Gomez who's going to try and find the area and Owen wisely knows the players lurking in behind him. Just has to get the ball cleared in the way and he does that. Former defensive player of the year for your Winter Park Wildcats. Indeed. 6'2 uh, sophomore. It's good, good in set piece situations. Good with his head, committed in the tackle. Well, an investment in Eastern Florida State College is an investment in higher education, the foundation for the nation's political and economic success. Communities that support higher education flourish, and every dollar that you invest in EFSC is a dollar invested in our community. Contact the EFSC Foundation and Alumni Association at... 321-433-7055, the number on your screen, to learn how you can support Eastern Florida State College. Oof, that's one way to stop him. You shall not, not pass. <laughs> Roster management now, the key here for Adam Butler. Five, five nil. Yeah, it's, it's five nil. You just get everybody minutes. It's, it's great when you can get some players, some experience, and some time. But you don't want the standard to drop. It's a. You always stress that to players. The, the standard cannot drop. Throw in. Uh, coming back to Harkham here as we wind down under 13 minutes. Back from Silva. And intercepted. Onu, one on one with the keeper. Let's it fly. He shoots and scores. And it is 6 0. Rolando Onu, his first goal of the season. And again, that's the great finish by Onu. Uh, tackled it, got it tackled away. And you see all, all the players going over to congratulate him as well. As you can see, it's probably, he tries to, as they, they try to play a sloppy ball across the middle. You cannot play slack passes in the middle of the park. And that's why, because players like him will pounce all over you and then walk it unmolested to goal. And it was <laughs> left with the, the, just the goalkeeper to beat. And he makes no mistake with his finish. Tobias Maciel, the keeper, 
one on one with Onu, and you know what he was thinking? Oh no! Oh no! It's Onu. That's, I was just even thinking, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I actually think I gotta get out. I gotta get out of here and make a save. <laughs> I did. I mean, at that point, as a goalkeeper, you do all you can, right? You're you're coming. He's coming out and trying to make a save. Just make tuck, cut down the angle. Good to see. Rolando had four goals last year. A lot of those from the penalty spot. Let's see him get on the board one on one. Six, nil. A nice day at the office for Eastern Florida State. <laughs> yes, I would say. Again, this one hasn't been in doubt since about midway through the first yeah, half. Really. Nelson got his second 16-minute uh, 16 mark of the first half. Let's see if Junior Smith now. I think you, you pointed it out earlier, Tom. Like the th the thing to really like about this group is. They could have taken the foot off the gas pedal, and nobody on, uh, whether they're at the front of the formation or at the back, have, has taken any slack off. You you don't. You can't. That's that's bad habit for me. Getting around the edge, they keep on coming. Yeah, there's only one way to play. You keep your foot on the gas and you keep going forward. Full speed fully engaged mentally, physically, emotionally at all times. Chamberlain up the line, Onu, most recent goal scorer here. It's one way to stop him. Go low and sweep the leg, Johnny. Onu coming back, boy. Trying to make a statement here, scoring goals and coming back defensively. Well, that's the job, really. I mean, it's not like Eastern Florida have to get goals at this point. They don't. They, they'd love to keep getting them. But it is that you want the zero. Uh, yeah. You want to keep the clean sheet. So good for Onu. Tracking back, doing the dirty work when you have to. Can't just go forward and play when the sun's shining. Sometimes you sometimes you got to go play where it's tough and you got to work hard. Big fell only if, if he gets isolated. If he gets isolated with Gomez, he just gets his arm across him and, and he's he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's in. like swim a swim move on the defensive line. I just out. Yeah. He just gets his arm <laughs> nice and high up on his chest, and as soon as he does that, it's pretty much over. He'll get by. it ahead. Chase is on. Adrian Adrian. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ned Lewis harassed and harangued. I want to keep it for a moment and then it's put out in touch. Doing the hard work. Ned Lewis doing the best he can, blanketed by two Eastern Florida players. Eastern Florida's gonna have another sub to make. So Adrian Adrian will come off. Or is it, or is it, or is it going to be, is it going to be Thomas Chamberlain? Well, Adrian's headed to the bench. Maybe he's just getting a drink. I think he's yeah. just maybe getting a drink, checking yeah. something with his footwear. Chamberlain off, yep. you're right. And Change. Diego Zogby coming in, Boca Raton native. Zogby, like Tiago Perez, product of Spanish River High. Well, that's, a, that's an interesting card. I'm not sure if for time wasting or what that was for. That was on Eastern Florida? Yes, it was. So that will be their Onu. third. Oh, picking up a card for, I think, could have been for touch the ball too much, or time wasting. Although that was a subbing opportunity, so I don't know, maybe the referee wanted to play, put back in. I'm not sure. It was a really odd one. Ooh, that's right in front of the bench. Well. Getting a little frustrated here late on. And <laughs> the yellow there too. And oh, and a second. Yep. So Finn O'Shea say goodbye. So if it if it, it wasn't bad enough for Harkham, 
and the day it wasn't, it just got worse. Because now you lose them. Now you lose them for the next match. As we'll get a look here. And the pace, he just takes one touch, he's going flying, yep. and that's cynical. It's it's a, if you're on a yellow, you can't do that. That's and don't look. So, you can't look surprised if you're Finoche. You should not look surprised. He went by you. Put your leg out. Maybe it was late, but it's late. It's cynical. You can't do that. But that's just that's a bad day getting worse. It's yeah. just there's nothing going David right. David Hughes there. Yeah, that's you're, you're down 6-0. <laughs> if you're David and now, Hughes, now you're down a man. You're going. What time's the flight? Yeah, we're we gonna make it. We're gonna. All right, guys, you gotta. We gotta get out of here. He's just, he's just waiting for these hey. next very long eight minutes yeah. to go by. You, you, you as a coach, I'm sure have been in situations like this, and you just, uh, is this a burn the film or is this a learning experience? I have uh, probably for me with this one, it's it's probably a, a burn. A couple, there's a couple things that you could pull out that I would probably, if it's me, I would be talking to m to my defenders about about sticking with players, and so there's a few moments to pull out. The rest of it, I'd been. <laughs> the clock stopped at 8.17. Coach Butler having a conversation. Much not pleased with whatever the decision was, but I'm sure overall on the day, on the balance of things, he'll be very happy. <laughs> Here's Lewis. Just been a marked man. Slowed up. Can't do it all by himself, or can he? Goes low and loses it into touch. Yeah, it's just <laughs> that player on the far side is like, I got to get up. I don't really want to. Yeah, look how slow it is coming to getting up. Yeah, it's, it's defeated. It very much so. So Harkham reduced to 10 men here late on. Adrian here on the right side for Eastern Florida has been a good spark in the second half. That ball, looking for Adrian, just a little too much on it. Yeah, a little overhead, but but a, a good vi good vision to spot the run and to try and find it. Santoro's got it. Perez to Armour. Eastern Florida, this is what you want to be doing. Just knocking around the back, keep possession. Move them around, make them chase. No need to no need to force balls in and go and, and try and give anything away at this point. And if you're Harkham, they're, they're just as happy to see you do this because it means you're not near their goal. You don't have a chance to score anymore. Ferrari has been knocked down to first or second gear, really, at this point. Uh, Ferrari's running more like a Honda right now. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's reliable, no. right? <laughs> it's just like you're, you're not going to be beat, beating anybody off the line, it's right? It's not quite that big yeah. old fancy sports car at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Come up with the five minute mark. Eastern Florida, six. Nelson, a first half hat trick. Duggan with a brace, and Onu with the most recent. And more importantly, Ortega and his two back lines now that he's had in this game in front of him, trying to keep this clean sheet. He hasn't been called on much, but when he was, he was he was there to do his job. I think I can only think of one real dangerous opportunity that he had to deal with. Came off Ferrari in the, in the early on in the second half. Rest. Rest. 
Throwing the foul. Zogby. And if you're Eastern Florida, you can just kind of take your time. Not much time left. It'll be four minutes, but to, to, to Coach David Hughes, it's going to seem like 40. I'm sure he'd want it over with now. Our next broadcast on East uh, WEFS will be volleyball coming up on the 29th of this month. As Coach Elatuza's team plays Hillsboro. This match for volleyball will be as easy as bump, set, and spike. Spike, game, set, match. <laughs> That's tennis, well. game, set, match. <laughs> three up, three down for baseball. If it was track, we lapped them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go through all the sports. We'll give you the analogies everywhere. Lapped them? Nearly killed them. <laughs> Next soccer broadcast, the women taking on Daytona State on the 1st of October. And we close out the soccer regular season. In the season finale, men here will play on the 29th against Daytona State. So the rest of the way, it's conference battles. Just our little first look. This is just our, you know, our preview. It's the appetizer. Yeah. And when you talk about playing Daytona State, that is the main course. Three minutes to go. This will end another change. This is about a, as comprehensive a win you're going to get. Back in is Chamberlain. And now it is Adrian. Adrian coming off. No, I think he's oh, changing, just changing shoes, shoes. Okay. It was Onu. Onu's going to go off. And yep, he's picking up the jersey. Adrian, Adrian. I'm not change his footwear. Adrian, again. if you're watching this afterwards, uh, we're not trying to shorten your time and get you off the field. That's that's not the aim. <laughs> he's to sort out his footwear problem. <laughs> he's got two different boots on now. Know where you can go for that? He's got yeah, I do too. He's got yellow boot. He's got a black boot. Is that the new thing now? We're in oh, well, double it's colors? It's his thing right now. Santoro. It's Gill getting a touch. Looking forward to watching eyes on Gill here. Going forward, Belize national team. You know, we were. Go back, go back five, six years. The women's program had Bunny Shaw, who is a stalwart with the Jamaican national team. One of the, the best pure player ever to come out of this program. Yeah, you got to give him time, right? You yep. got to give him time to train and and get into the the system and and you know get into some hard games and then see what you got. But certainly a player with a lot of experience in the full Belizean national team. I think Adam Butler believes he's going to be a good player, right? <laughs> Less than 90 seconds to go in this titanic struggle. <laughs> Beautiful afternoon here in Melbourne. Looking forward to the next couple of weeks when the temperature just starts dipping enough. Hopefully. My, my next season's come up indoor, so that doesn't matter to me, Jim. Right, yeah, the Central Florida Crusaders, NISL, going to be playing over on the campus of uh, UCF. Men's and women's team. Indeed. Who knows? Maybe one day we might find some players on the men's and women's side from Eastern Florida soccer. It is Adrian. How about that? And he gets it. Lucky number seven for Eastern Florida. Adrian has his first goal of the season. And that is the exclamation point. 
and the piece de resistance, whatever you want to say to this one. I want to say it's all about changing the boots. <laughs> That's what did it. He went over, kept changing his shoes till he got the right ones to score his goal. So you have a look, bad touch. Defender tries to fall, he rides a tackle yeah, and- No mistake. Takes the boots he changed and smashes it. Past the goalkeeper and it's seven. A comprehensive win for T Eastern Florida and a comprehensive defeat. Titans by a touchdown and an extra point in honor of the NFL season, which kicks off this week. Adrian in the last minute. Yeah, comprehensive, that's a good word. Today's word is yeah. comprehensive. Harkham College ran into the collision, or had the collision. Stick and a comprehensive it. defeat. This broadcast is brought to you by the letter C. <laughs> Gonna pay your premium today coming into this place. 15 seconds remain. Now we're gonna have a lot of goals to talk about here when we do the highlights after the break. <laughs> Makes it easy for everybody in the truck. There's the final whistle. And it is a 7-0 drubbing and shutout. The Titans get the win over Harkham College. Mr. Nelson getting three of them. We'll be back right here on WEFS. I'm part of SCAP, which is the Space Coast Consortium Apprenticeship Program. What it is, it's an, an apprenticeship program to get people in the aerospace field and get experience and schooling all at the same time. So I just graduated high school this past May, and I found out about it two days after graduation. And my original plan was to go to Eastern Florida and just get a basic AA degree and figure out what I wanted to do from there. I always liked the idea of going into aerospace, but never was sure about engineering itself. So this was a great way to get my career started. Even if I choose to go back for engineering or even if I choose to change career paths, this is a two-year degree that is fully paid for by my company. And it is four years of experience in the aerospace industry where I really get to get the experience in the schooling. And if I choose to continue down this path, I can. Or if I choose to further my education, go somewhere else, I can also do that. Back here in Melbourne, and it's a 7 nothing victory. Very comprehensive for Eastern Florida State College over Harkham. Tom, let's run through the highlights because it got off really quick. Six minute, Nelson the first of a trio tonight. Hope we have enough time. It's a yeah. lot of highlights as it started out. Really strong performance by that guy right there, Jack Nelson. Today, goal scoring machine. This one might be the most special Duggan, though. Yeah as Duggan takes just a clever, puts the defender on the floor. The outside the boot finish was just class for me. But again, it was the inability of Harkham to, to control this guy right there, Jack Duggan. He just time after time was finding space. That was his brace. Three minutes later, he got his hat trick. Yeah, you just can't keep giving him space. And, and he's marked up there, but then you let him go. You don't pay attention, and look what happens. The ball's in the back, and then again, he has his hat trick. 4 nothing at the half, now Onu in the second, leaves it the back. And that was, that was, that was Harkham again, coming, coming through, following through. Good ball by Onu. Onu then getting through, so several players getting in on the goals, getting in on the assists. It just turned into a big party. Harkham just unable to keep up with the pace of this game and keep up with Eastern Florida State. Adrian Adrian will put the exclamation point on a 7-0 beauty. Well, head coach Adam Butler joins us now. Uh, one of these games that uh, you wish you could have more of or you don't have too much of a worry and you get a lot of those players out there. How did that one feel? Abs absolutely. It felt great. Um, and the boys performed fantastic. Adam, talk about uh, – we talk about sometimes when games – 
get a little out of hand. It's easy to take your foot off the pedal, but your players just seem to keep the discipline, keep their foot on the pedal, and keep going after it. Yeah, credit to them. Um, they were fantastic today. We put a game plan in place for uh, to be as as productive and you know have that killer edge today, and uh, they did exactly what they were asked. Jack Nelson a hat trick. Thomas Duggan a brace in this match. What is it like as a coach, and you've got all these players that you're trying to work in and out and it's one of those things where it's like a party and everybody wants to get in on it and you got to try to keep everybody happy sometimes uh, yeah i suppose so yeah they were they all seemed happy full of smiles and like they were enjoying themselves uh, which is the most important thing so now your attention turns to wednesday a, a big match on wednesday uh what's going to be your how does this set you up for wednesday and and what are you telling the players after this one well, the thing that we'd struggled with the last couple of weeks was scoring some goals. So um, <laughs> that seems to have lined us up uh, perfect time. Well, you could have fooled us, Adam. Congratulations on the win. Good luck uh, this week and a big win against Daytona State. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You got it. So Eastern Florida uh, gets the big victory tonight. Uh, as you said, Tom, how much do you want to read into this? It was a team that they were playing that was coming off of, of a loss yesterday in the heat. But you'll take it. You'll take seven goals anytime you can get it. You read in that your players played the game strong. They played hard. They got their goals. They won the game. And it, it set you up well and confident going into a big Wednesday match. All right. So Jack Nelson, three goals. Duggan, two. One each for Onu and for Adrian Adrian. So for our entire crew, Tom Traxler, Brian Foster, Roger Hayward, I'm Jeff Radcliffe saying so long. 7 nothing winner for the Titans. Good afternoon. We now join our programming in progress.